Hi everyone, it's Laura here. I hope you're having a good day. I am celebrating Chantel Friday by doing a flip through of my newest journal and it's made with Shawcraft One designs, uh, mostly the La Ferma kit, but it has some other kits as well. And if I can remember, I'll list those down in the description box. Um, let's get started on this flip through. Let's see, this is a patchwork cloth and trim cover. And I have this collage fabric, lace, flower uh, design on the front. I have it just clipped on so you can take it off if you choose to. And let me undo the seam binding. And I always just run the seam binding through my binding stitches so that when you undo it, it's still attached to the book so it doesn't go anywhere or get lost. You can certainly just pull it out if you don't want it bound like that. Some netting in here. I have trim. There's trim and some other fabric pieced. And then I have the beautiful floral trim there. Okay, so, so let's look inside. Flip through. Here I have some hand um, crocheted trim and I have backed it and used it as a belly band. I just have a this book belongs to piece that you can put in the journal where you want to put it, and then a piece of avocado dyed paper with rose gold splashes on it. And it just fits right in there. Okay, this beautiful first page. And off we go. This is a sack that I put a little cluster on. And here's a, a stack and whack tag I made. And just think that the chipmunk is so cute. So cute. And there is room behind for something else if you want to put some notes back there. I've made a slide to hold this piece in. And you just slide it back. This is a flip pocket. And yes, I sanded that. And it has a tag from the, I'm not going to take it all the way out. It's really hard to get back in from where I'm sitting. Okay. And that flips. Beautiful colors in this kit. This is a embellished paper clip. And I've just put a little ticket in there and then a couple of pieces from the kit that you can journal on if you want to. And of course, you can put something up under there. And on this side, I have a tag I've made from pieces in the kit and just little tickets from the kit and a language ticket. And I have a fabric pocket here with a little uh, notebook, little papers that you can tear out and use. And uh, make what you'd like to with it. This one, the butterfly holds that. And once that's open, then this whole piece will fold up so that you can get to this page. And you can cover it and write on it. Or you can write on another piece of paper, put it in there. But you have all this journaling space, too. And you just... Put it back in with the butterfly. Like this. Okay. 
and I have one of the tags from the kit and it is holding this closed for extra journaling space. This is another tag I made using pieces from the kit the cut out of the cow and then this is a background page from the kit. Another ticket that I made into a tag and a narrow tag and then this is an index card that's been stenciled and this is a digital that I believe I printed this out four to a page to make it journal card size. Here's a slide that I showed in my first Shaw and Tell Friday, and you can see the pig, and then it also flips around. You can see it on the other side, and it says shabby. Put it in there so that you could put it where you wanted to. Okay, Laura, don't pull it. <laughs> okay. This is the center. I think this is her shabby digital kit. I've used several things from different kits. A sheep and a pig. Love this polka dotted avocado dyed paper. This is another cloth and lace. Uh, pocket fabric and lace pocket with a stamp and a couple of uh, tags from the kit. And here we have the flip side with another narrow tag. And then this is an index card that's been stenciled and a beautiful floral journal card there for you. And again, these are uh, pieces from the kit that I've used to make a, a fan tag. Uh, this is a piece that was once a table runner, and I have cut it to be the top uh, belly band and put some lace on each side. And in the top part, I have this beautifully stenciled index card as well as this one. These two, I think they're very pretty. And they give you a lot of space to write on on the back. And then I have a big one in the back. Isn't he pretty? Oh, love that. And the back part of this belly band is fabric that I have sewn onto some felt to make it kind of poofy. So it's got a nice feel to it. Just flip that out, left some things for you to do what you wanted to with them. There's the extra journaling space on this side. And this is a three pocket. I'm not sure I'll take them all out because they're very similar. They're all the um, they're all the stenciled card and so there they are in there I knew that would happen if I started taking them out <laughs> it's just such an awkward way I've got this so that you can see it it makes it hard to put things in and out but then you know that you know that, you've seen it before. And this is an envelope hiding under all this. Uh, this is my take on a fabric flip. So you have fabric here, and you open that, and then you have fabric here, here. This is the bottom of the belly band back there. This is the fabric on the bottom of the belly band. And then here is this um, antique invoice that I have made into a pocket. And this is the tag.
for that pocket with chenille yarn up there and then the chenille piece down here. And we all go back in and this flips back over. Sorry about that. And we have another slide, a girl with her dog, and it holds that closed. Okay, pup. <laughs> there. There we go. Too many legs. Okay. Flip out. And here's the other belly band on this end with this beautiful paper. Lots of room for journaling. And that is the back. I want to thank you for watching and spending time here in the nook with me. And if you've enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate a like. And if you'd like to see future content, please subscribe and hit the bell. Um, have a great day, as I said before. And uh, if you're interested in this journal, it is available in my Etsy shop. Bye-bye.